Hello, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate an amazing new feature that's part of Moto 11.2. I'm going to show you how to use the new Export to Sketchfab button. So the first thing we'll need to do is come over to our browser and go to sketchfab.com and register to create an account. And then back in Moto, we'll just need to have uh, some model uh, loaded up and it's as easy as clicking on the Sketchfab logo in the Moto Modes toolbar. So once I click on that, we'll have the Sketchfab uploader, and I'm just going to click on the login button, and I'm already logged in, but you can just type in your password here and then click login. And then you would just give your model a name, I'll just call this abstract test 001, and then I'll give it a description. This is a Moto Mesh Fusion model and the tags, I'll just keep Moto and Mesh Fusion there. I'm going to leave Draft Mode and Private toggled off. Uh, we don't need a password. Everything at default is fine. So now I'm just going to click on Upload to Sketchfab. Okay, so the Upload to Sketchfab is a success. Do you want to open your model on Sketchfab? Yes. And after a couple minutes, our model is in Sketchfab. So we can tumble around, we can zoom in and out, pan. It's pretty awesome. Change the lighting. So it's really, really cool. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with much better stuff than this, uh, this model here. But what's nice is I can come over to the model inspector and I can check out the wireframe. Uh, we can turn on a matte cap to see what it looks like uh, with a different matte cap. And what's really nice is if you have a head-mounted display like an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift or a Google Cardboard, you can just click on View in VR. And if you have your head-mounted display uh, set up, you can look around, which is pretty neat. So you can view this in both VR and AR. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, stay tuned to Moto Geeks TV for more videos about Moto and Moto 11.2.